Hello, you guys. So I am sure you remember uh, Miss Rosemary Harris from our cafe build tours. Well, I got really attached to her, and I don't want to do a full Let's Play on her, but I do want to play some days in the life of Rosemary Harris. Um, she's a beautiful sim, and I, I, I feel a connection with her. We're both coffee lovers. She lives in this town that is literally just, she's surrounded by cafes. She basically is a scientist for now, but that's not the job she really wants, so she doesn't really attend it. Um, and she has this very, like, this, this little, like, teeny trailer so you can tell she's probably just starting out in um, in life. Um, so this is kind of going to be like a current household series. Uh, some updates on Rosemary Harris. Um, it won't be like a full let's play. Just a teeny series. I'm going to call it The Coffee Days. <laughs> uh, the Sims story of Rosemary Harris. There will be a playlist in case you want to like catch up on any new episodes or old episodes of this. I don't know how long it'll last. Like I said, it's not going to be like a full, full let's play, maybe five episodes or so. But I really want to play a bit of Rosemary's life because I think she is really, really cool. And I enjoyed using her so much. Like she's a foodie. She's a coffee addict. She wants to be this great chef. She's proper. She's a little jealous of what is hers. Um, to earn money, she likes to paint and sell her paintings down in San Myshuno when she stops by the city. Um, she's still trying to like sell the stuff from Halloween, like pumpkin seeds, uh, pumpkins, and some pumpkin stew she made. Uh, she sells vegetables and things that she grows along with seeds. Um, she sells stuff like that she bakes, so I'm gonna have her go bake something, maybe some little sugar cookies, get up that baking skill, and, uh, then we might add that to our, um, thing here, and start selling some stuff. And we'll lock our door, of course, because we don't want anybody, <laughs> lock more door for everybody but Rosemary, we don't want anyone entering it. Her trailer is quite small, so you get the idea, she, she's not like... Uh, she, she's got like 19 days until she ages up into a adult, but like she is like fairly just starting out. Like she's, she probably lives in an apartment at one point, you know, or something cheap. And then she finally earned up the money to get her own trailer. Nothing fancy. Um, eventually, sure, she'd like to move someplace bigger and have like a bigger farm area and like chickens I could picture that being something she'd like she does love to grill um that is something Rosemary is a big fan of and she loves fall like she is all for fall all for the holidays in general um so I am going to ooh 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 I don't want to move the coffee maker what did I do okay there we go I wanted to move this and I'm going to put it in her inventory we're gonna stock the table and then we are going to tend the table and we're gonna start a yard sale you know like come get it you know you want your pumpkin you want your pumpkin I know you want your pumpkin see 16 simoleons already um yeah thanks three simoleons what are you gonna buy you gonna buy something girl you know you want to um, yay! 30 more simoleons! She's actually making money! This is cool. And so she does these yard sales every day, you know, kind of thing. Um, and so she's starting out in life. Like, she's not exactly in the pl stage where, like, she's going to college or she just got her own apartment. But she, she, she's still starting out. She's not, like, middle-aged of young adulthood. She's not an adult. <laughs> Um, she's, she's just starting out, and I think she's doing well for herself. Um, are we tending our table? Oh, we can mark up the prices? <laughs> I'm gonna do that next time as her baking scale increases. Oh, she sold, like, all the pumpkins. People are buying the pumpkins. 
Pumpkins are a top seller. That was Judith Ward. She bought our pumpkins. Okay, I'm going to have to make like a social bunny post if I'm able to and be like, Judith Ward, she, uh, she, she bought my pumpkin. And now all we have is like, I think some seeds and some pumpkin stew and stuff. Because I think that present is just like decoration as part of this table. I don't really know. I, I, I don't think you can actually buy the present. Um, oh, I'm going to put that in there too. Let's stock the table again. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. That's going bad. That is, that is going bad. We do not want to sell that. We don't want anyone having like stomach sickness. We want to build like a really good reputation. So we're not going to, we're not going to stock that. I'm going to have her start another yard sale. Because she, I mean, she is hungry, but like, oh well. You know, she can deal. She can deal. Our girl is tough. She will make it through this. Um, but I do love her trailer. Um, I'll have to tell you guys who it was built by. It was built... Oh, I gotta connect to the Sims 4 gallery. Yikes! I, I, don't, I hate that I have to, like, connect every time I go to use it. I've had this issue lately. And if you've had it, let me know in the comments. But I want lots. Because uh, I believe I saved this lot. I, I believe I would have saved this lot. Because I really, really like it. Okay, so these are like some pumpkin Halloween builds. Did I not save this lot? Well, apparently I can't tell. Oh, here it is. It's the Micro Pumpkin Camper. It is by Moni, M-O-N-E, Amaron, Amaron, I don't know how to pronounce that, A-M-A-R-O-N-E. For those of you who would like to download it, the Micro Pumpkin Camper. And it came with a bunch of that stuff on it, so I was like, you know what, she might as well sell it, you know. Like, get, get your money, girl. Um, I do want to see if that present, I think it came. Oh, did it not come with a table? Wait. Honey, I, I'm sure that, like, must have come with the table. Okay, so maybe that present is literally something she is selling. Okay. Oh, well, it's gone now. <laughs> I guess somebody bought it. Can you please buy my last packet of seeds? Oh my goodness! Forty simoleons. So see, she is working hard. I'm gonna let her use the restroom. I'm gonna let her get something to eat. She's gonna eat a sandwich outside. She looks like she's having fun. Uh, no, I don't want to go to work. I hate my job. I'm just gonna click send alone and I'm gonna exit out of it. I, I kind of want to quit, but I feel like you don't get your dream job like the minute you get out of high school. And maybe her parents really pushed her into being a scientist, you know? They probably were like, that'll make you good money, that'll help get you that nice farm you want. And that's just not Rosemary's thing. Like, it, it, it's not. Um, have, have any of you ever been pushed into doing something by your parents, like pressured? Um, I guess I'm curious about that now. Um, because I definitely feel like that is Rosemary's story. Um, Rosemary's already drinking her coffee. You can tell she's a coffee addict. Like, she is like, look, give me that coffee. I'm just gonna bump her needs up. Um, just so she can actually, like, maybe, maybe make some stuff. Her boss is calling. We're gonna ignore that, because, like, we've been ignoring the boss, like, Ever since I, like, started the build tours with Rosemary. Um, now, if you guys would like to see those, I will, you know, put a little card up at some point. Um, I don't know it'll be, if it'll be at this point in the video, but it, it, it'll come up and it'll say, uh, it'll say something. Or it might be on the end screen. I'm not sure which. Um, and I'm very excited to be playing with Rosemary. She's gonna bake. She's gonna bake some breadsticks you know, in her little fall-inspired home, you know, she wants to sell those with her, um, with her harvestables, and you know what, maybe we'll sell, what can we sell, can we sell this, oh, I can totally sell that, 
So let me, um, let me view inventory. Oh, no, I can't sell that. Never mind. <laughs> I was hoping. I was like, I'm gonna, I, if I can sell that, like, I will, I will sell it and be gone. <laughs> um, but no, that's not, that's, that's not how that works. Okay. Um, I don't know why I can't sell the pumpkins that I crafted. I would have thought I would have been able to. I think she put the where, oh, she put the bread over here. Okay, there we go. And then maybe we'll, like, bake some bread. Oh, we can break bread now. We leveled up in the baking skill. Go, Rosemary. Go, Rosemary. I also love Rosemary's style and her outfit. Something about her. She just, she's that, that, that girl. She is cool. She is a cool girl. Um... Okay, so I'm going to have her stock the table, and uh, she is going to, oh, can I not, st let's tend the table, and let's start a yard sale again. This is what Rosemary's focused on today, and you know, after this, she might go to like her favorite cafe in the morning once she gets some sleep. I don't know why they'd be, they be doing some mean interactions with me, like, that wasn't cool, dude. The dude came up and he was like, showed like negative, but it doesn't show him in my friendship thing. So it must have been to like somebody else. Oh my goodness, Marcus Flax. Oh, I totally want to introduce myself to him. Yeah. Hi, Marcus. Oh, this boy really was showing up to impress. He was like, I got, I got it all hanging out. Um, and so let's hopefully Marcus Flax buys something. I don't have any oh oh he doesn't like us maybe let's do a self-deprecating joke let's maybe share share some photos let's maybe ask about his day uh, i don't know what we're we're very embarrassed let's just start another yard sale i don't know why we're so embarrassed um i don't want to know what she said um but i definitely think she's crushing a little on marcus um, and, you know, you go, girl. You allowed to crush on Marcus. I'm going to tend to her needs now. Like, her, her little yard sales don't earn her a lot of money, nor does selling her paintings down in San Myshuna once a week. But it's the way she enjoys living her life. Um, and I'm going to let her do that. And like I said, she goes to all the cafes. She skill builds. She writes sometime. Um, and that's what we're probably going to do tomorrow is she's going to go and she's going to maybe travel. She's going to be like, oh, no, it's Harvest Fest. Do we have friends? Can we have a Harvest Fest party? I mean, we could totally have a Harvest Prep Fest party. Uh, let's cook a grand meal. Let's do like a little turkey, turkey dinner. Uh, we'll have to empty the coffee maker as well. She's in her little PJs. They say sleep on the butt. <laughs> um, I don't that I don't know if I want some words on my butt because that's what people will be looking is her booty. Um they, they'll know she's got like she's tired from everything she's doing like the minute they see her. So let's let's maybe throw a little like lunch kind of brunch. I also want to add social bunny. I'm just going to add a bunch of people we're cool that we met at the coffee shops. Because we're a coffee shop kind of girl. We might invite uh, Katrina out. Just oh, I don't really want to invite Dominic Fries over. <laughs> I don't really want to. Can I unfriend him? Yeah, because he's a ghost. We are not being friends with ghosts. Um, let's tag a sim. Marcus Flex. Let's maybe do like just a little friendly message. It's so nice seeing you. And then let's do a little dinner party. We're just going to invite a few people over. You know, nothing nothing over the top. Um so let's do a little Thanksgiving dinner party. Um Yeah, let's do, maybe just a little house party. Um, Rosemary will be the sim. 
We might invite him even though he's married. We'll invite Nancy. We'll invite her. And we'll invite Marcus Flax. And that's who we're going to invite. Um... Oh, I have to uh, choose the time for it to start. We're going to maybe do like it for lunch. So maybe like 12 p.m. I feel like that gives people an hour to show up. Um, and she, of course, is going to want to show off all her skills. She's going to want to make a dessert. I mean, she got that baking skills. So, you know, you go, honey. You go. Um... And then she'll probably like tend to her garden a little. Like she'll spray for bugs and she'll weed. Um, because her garden is very important to her. Like I said, that is how she earns her money, honey. She ain't playing when it comes to her garden, you know? Like, I'm just saying. Okay, let's start the, the event. And she's out there weeding as they come over to her house. Girl, call them to the grand meal. And then let's... Let's open this and let's put the cookies out for everybody. Are we just... We're spraying, spraying pants... Plants talking to everybody. Um, can we... Can we maybe just weed? Yeah, let's just... Let's just weed and get that over with. And then let, we're going to like quickly run inside and be like, everybody, come on in. She's like ringing her bell. Time to come eat. Oh, nobody is coming to eat. Oh, I have to unlock the door. That, that would make sense. Um, let's unlock. And then we're going to call to Grand Meal. Everybody go eat, you know, like, I made a whole turkey if y'all don't eat it. You know what, I've been slaving over that, that stove for you, you better be eating it. Yeah, Marcus, it smells good, don't it? Marcus is like, ah, the smell of cookies in the afternoon. Um, and this is nice, because like, Marcus doesn't have a family, Katrina doesn't have a family. Nancy probably doesn't want to be around her family. I don't know about him, but, like, we're just enjoying some friends' company, you know? Um, Rosemary gives me, like, the friends vibe. Like, she would be on, like, a show like Friends. She's just that kind of girl. She loves socializing with the people around her. She's going to share the Harvest's best spirit, I think. Katrina here is feeling a little sad probably because she doesn't really have family she just has her cats and like that has to kind of get lonely like I would imagine that would get lonely um oh and they're just chatting away uh she's gonna maybe talk about cooking with her try to like you know get her to to relax they they took their food outside like they were like yeah, it's too small in there. This is this is a little crowded for my taste. Um, Marcus is coming back in though. Uh, let's let's tell him a funny story. Yeah, we want to talk to Marcus with our mouth full of food. <laughs> she is probably so nervous. Like she is not cool and calm and collected. She's like, so Marcus, how you doing? You been working out a lot? Yeah, I love to work out. And you know, she's probably never hit the gym in her life. Um, but that's what she's telling Marcus. Like, yeah, I'm totally into health food. Are you into health food? Mmm, protein. Protein's good for you. Um, no, I don't know what they're talking about, but I can't imagine, like... I don't know, but she is building, like, a little bit of a relationship with, like, the people around her here. Oh, is Marcus, was Mar Marcus was trying to sit closer to his girl. You, you ruined that. Oh, honey, you ruined that. He was, like, trying to scoot in closer, and you were just like, nah, psych. Um, let's maybe share some photos. Let's do a little heartfelt compliment. Like, we're excited that Marcus stopped over. We're excited just to have friends over. Um, 
I need to I need to harvest my mushrooms. Yeah, let, let's just like chill with Marcus. Let's water our plants. We'll be like, we'll be right back, Marcus. My plants, my plants looking like they need some tendon too. You know how it is. She's like, you know, I just, I just want to go. Oh, and she's still talking to Mar Marcus. She's like, you know, I know I have things to do, but like he is, he's strong and muscular and he's just her type. Uh, if you guys have a sim that you think would be a good match for Rosemary, hashtag it, um, Northern, uh, hashtag it under the hashtag Northern, um, and I will take a look at it. I think that would be awesome. Um, and that way I can check it out. I'll, I'll literally search Northern and uh, see what pops up because, you know, my girl Rosemary could use some non-towny friends. <laughs> um, but I can totally see her digging Marcus. She's going to rave about her favorite singers, you know. Oh, she is so happy. And I am going to leave it right here. We will see what happened next time. Um, for now, we just enjoyed a cozy day at home, getting to know Rosemary, her life, and her routine. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday! Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We love new subscribers on this channel. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>